Yo, what's happening everyone? It's your boy Abdurrahim back again with another great amazing graphics design video. Today we're gonna learn some motion inside Photoshop. So it's not like After Effects or something, but the only main thing which you should just uh, keep up with is keyframes. Now, what is keyframe? Keyframe is the start and ending of a transition. Now, using keyframe, it can help you out through different aspects for starting a transition and ending it. Now, if you have started a transition, then you finally ending it that means at the center there there's gonna be a transition going on so something's gonna move or something's gonna jump or something like this so there are like simple animations which you can create inside photoshop but today let us just get started with only text and shapes so as we can just wind up then later on we're gonna create um another character so as we can animate but just remember that designing a character takes a lot of time so i just have to uh, design it somewhere else and bring it inside so as we can just get it there so let's get started so yeah. inside photoshop here as you can see guys let us just go at the film and i uh, click create now after clicking create we have our layout here now let me just uh press ctrl plus h to hide those uh rollers then just go to window then click timeline window then uh timeline then you can see we have timeline now here now if we have timeline that means we can just um, get started now things can just get started here now let us just click create video timeline we have our first created video timeline but this starts from the background right now let us just lock our background this is going to be our background now we can just extend it up to somewhere here now let it let me just keep keep uh, it up somewhere there then take our text let's start with text just dab it there then just find any text you like let me just expand my text up to here and you can keep it lower and so so after having it here somewhere here or let me just write something abdul rahim one one two or it might be your name or anything so we have our text here now when we expand this text here that means we're gonna start by clicking transform so just check it transform there then um, bring it up to here now i've extended too much let me just undo that and uh, let me just uh, extend it up to somewhere here after that we have our first keyframe there now if i go five keyframes one two uh let's say one two three four five somewhere somewhere here i'm gonna keep my text down somewhere there you can see we created a second keyframe now if we just return our our time timeline up to here from the zero time code and play play it okay you can see it's starting moving but I, I went too far let me just uh, bring it up to here i went for 20 minutes up to five well that was not five frames okay press play somewhere there Whoa. that looks good so let me just uh, keep it somewhere here as you can see we're having our text and our text just moved up to there now if i stop from this time code and bring my text again up up to here you can see we have created another second transition so our text is gonna move it's gonna go there down and it's gonna jump again up to the top now this is something which is so amazing now not only on uh, text you can even create some looping now let us just create some looping here now take my text give it at the center then we keep our text somewhere here now we have hidden it you can see it so after that just click transform now our keyframe remember supposed to start here if you started your keyframe somewhere here just return your first keyframe there now after that just go up to somewhere here then create a second keyframe by moving your text now you won't see any text here right but hold control and shift then move it you can see our text is moving up to somewhere there now I'll continue moving it up to I just want it to disappear up to there 
boom now if i return it here and click play you can see we made a text moving which is something which is so great now it's going to stop somewhere there now if you want to loop it just click this setting then click loop playback now if i just click play our text is gonna loop but remember it won't loop if our range of um, text and background ends there so it's supposed to end somewhere somewhere here and uh, this one here it's supposed to end somewhere here so if it ends there between these two time code here that these are uh, effect is gonna happen so if you play you can see it's passing by then at the moment whereby the time code is ending that's the main point whereby our transition is gonna end as you can see it's looping now starting of transition ending of transition that's what's up i hope all of you guys got that kind of concept and uh this is how you create uh motions on photoshop and it's something which is so amazing so i think to own kind of aspect is the way to go if you have anything uh let me know in the comments down below and uh yeah it usually takes time like we went for 10 minutes definitely but the main problem or the main thing about about it is just that it uses a lot of ram and stuff like that so make sure that you have a little bit plenty of ram on your machine to do the motion and stuff so thank you guys for watching you like these videos today you know what to do make sure that you hit the thumbs up you new here my name is abdurrahim one too yeah i got some flu and stuff like that it's my voice is changing so it's not such a big deal but i'm all right i'm all right don't worry about that i'm good so yeah thank you guys for watching i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one peace